Hey guys, today we're taking a look at some of my dragons. First up, I have my bull dragon. Here we have a red body with a blue and black suit and some red boots. As you can see, this used to be the X-Men Apocalypse alternate version. What I did was I painted it electric blue and then I did a black charcoal overbase. I 3D printed the dragon head and painted it and then added some different hands to give him the claws. They're from the Bath Caliban. So for height reference, we have Spider-Man here. After that, we're going to take a look at Halo Spartan 6.5 inch action figure. You can see that there. And then after that, we're going to take a look at McFarlane Toys Superboy Prime. And there you go. The dragon is massive over most of them. My next couple dragons will have wings, which who doesn't want a dragon with wings? Here is not so much a dragon, but a mythical beast. This is the Elk King of the forest. You saw the staff he had. He has the wings of McFarlane Toys Wonder Woman, and I 3D printed and custom fabricated the head and the horns. I painted the whole body a flat blue and then gave it some glossy metallic look over it and then gave it a nice wash. There are the wings that are fully articulated. You can see it has some armor over his left shoulder. Here you can take a look at the wings in the back and see all the different ways they bend. I did more of a charcoal metallic look. You can also see on the back of the skirt there, I highlighted the symbols. Here's a side profile, and there is kind of a looking down on him look. Anyways, all articulation is in great working order, and the item is absolutely massive. So let's go ahead and do a height comparison. First up, of course, is Spider-Man at 6 inches. He is just tiny to him. Next up, we have Halo Spartan, custom made, at 6.5 inches. And then we have Superboy Prime at 7 to 7.5 seven inches. As you see, this collection has not just dragons, but beasts as well. This next dragon I call the Crowbird Dragon. You can see those electric yellow eyes just popping off of the 3D printed head I made. The wings are off of uh, the Hawkman, Batman Who Laughs. The armor you saw, I ended up tapping in with the nail and then gluing. There's lots of armor all over this figure. This used to be Diamond Select X-Men Beast, but I painted it and I added all the bits of armor and I added the wings as well as the head. All articulation is in great working order, of course. Here's a look at the back armor that I applied. That's what he looks like with his wings out. As you can see, he looks very impending. He looks like someone who would rat you out if you stole a cookie from the cookie jar. But here's a height comparison next to my six inch Spider-Man. Next, my Halo Spartan at 6.5 inches. And last, Superboy Prime at seven inches. He still stands taller than all of them. Next up, we have the Armadillo Bath which I turned into a digger dragon. The head was 3D printed and the rest of the body speaks for itself. All I did was paint the fingernails and toes and 3D printed and fabricated the head. I really think this one turned out well. I like the horns on the head. They kind of look like owl horns. And I think overall, this figure just turned out looking really cool and not having to do a whole ton of work. So thanks for watching my dragon videos. I really appreciate it. And please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and tell me, what was your favorite dragon?